Market update here. Wild day. Big move down. Um, that was the first scenario. Um, after we bounced today early in the morning, I was kind of thinking that uh, we were going to get a better bounce, but we brought up the possibility of this happening, and of course it played out. I think that we bottomed, though. I'll say that right off the bat. I think that it's time to bounce again. We came straight down from 407 to 390. Quick move. Uh, this started on Monday. And I think that we are going to bounce. The reason I say that is because you look at this right here. 407.47 minus uh, the top here at 401.60 is about 6 bucks. 6 bucks, bucks less than this is right around. I had this marked at 390. 65 we nailed it exactly so this is an abc move labeled w um, wxy moves usually retrace about 50 percent so we're looking for 399 probably going to get there i would think into opex and there's a lot of puts on the options chain so i think that we can get to 399 before another move down and i think that this whole pattern now is pretty obviously pretty obvious that it is WXY. I'm looking for 382. And then this one right here is going to end up looking like that. So I got rid of the um, move up here because I think it's not going to happen now. And I think that this move going lower is going to make this chart even more um, tricky, I guess. I think that this is actually most likely a B wave or an X wave. Let's see here. I'm gonna see how long this took. October 12th to February 2nd. We got about three months and 20 days. So that's what, 110 days. Three months and 10 days. Um, I think that this is most likely an X wave. And it should retrace at least 50% of this move. And look at that. 50% retracement right at 383. So I think 382, 383 right into the support area is going to be hit again. And I think that that still is only going to end up being the X wave. So if it was a B wave, then I would say it needs to um, be longer than the A wave. But because it's an X wave, I don't think it matters as much. It doesn't matter at all. It can be short, it can be long. Time doesn't really matter as much. And so, and also the structure of this. If this is a B wave, you'd be looking at it like this. Um, you do ABC, ABC, and you'd be looking for something like this for the C wave. But WXY, instead, we're looking for ABC, ABC. And then we're getting again A, B, C. So it's an X wave. So zooming back out, if we go to 382 and the bottom was at 348, that is 34. 34 on top of this is 452. So we could be looking at a move all the way to 452. Um, Timing wise, if this is an overall B wave, again, it's got to last all the way till July. So 382 and then a move up to 452 sometime in mid-July minimum. And then what I talked about in one of my videos in the last couple of weeks. So short term though, bounce to 399 and then lower to 382. And that will probably take into April. And then just like this A wave that took about um, 
it took three, three and a half months. We're looking at something about three and a half months, maybe mid July, August to top. So that's why I'm not even afraid about, I sold some puts. I'm fine with it. I have TQQQ. I'm fine with it because we're going to go higher. And on QQQ, we are looking for 298. And what I didn't go over here on SPY is that it is in the middle of a demand zone or a supply zone. So 399 right into supply. Come down here, probably hit this support area right here. QQQ, bounce to 298 and then down to 385 into a demand zone. Amazon hit the demand zone again. It's probably going to bounce and come lower. I still expect it to hit 85 bucks at some point down here. So we'll see if that happens anytime soon. I think that we're basically maybe like here. And then within that, we are here. Something like that. So Amazon, it should bounce, but I think it's got more to go down. Apple, same thing, maybe a little bit more down, bounce, and then go lower. It could make it all the way down here to this right here, 146, 145. I sold my puts again today for a good profit, and I'm still holding my sold puts, though, at 140, and I'm kind of hoping for a bounce so I can reload those puts for the third time and then try to sell them down here at like 146 and then just have sold puts again tesla basically hit the target um the target was one seventy one and then you also have wx and i think that's not right actually let's see Thinking this might actually be the end of the second. No. Well, anyway, 1.61 fib of this right here is 171. So 171 is my target. It hit 172.92 at the same time that um, QQQ hit where I was looking for as well. But maybe this goes down farther now because think about it. If QQQ is going to be going down more, then potentially it goes on farther uh, we'll see coming up but I would not want it to lose 163.18 or it could be going all the way down here to probably gonna go all the way down here there's a let's see daily let's go to weekly I think it's probably going to bottom here at 171 and bounce at least. We'll have to uh, go over the chart again and see what kind of bounce it gets. I would want to see an impulsive bounce off 171. But again, I think QQQ has more downside. So we'll have to see what happens. The dollar was down earlier in the day. Still down. So this was down the whole day during that whole sell-off. Interesting stuff. Um... I still expect this to, it's probably going to do something like this. But um, we'll see what happens when QQQ and SPY bounce. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes higher back into the supply zone. So let's look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin hitting my target right here again uh, I might have to start buying right here to be honest it is I mean it could bounce from here but and then go lower but I think I'm gonna have to start nibbling in here we got some support here let's look at weekly demand Yeah, I mean, weekly demand, I would say it's probably going to come down here to 19,000. But I'm going to start averaging in right here in 50% 0.61 FIB retracements. 
And we're at least gonna get we're at least gonna get this. So it's not a bad play. I'm gonna go ahead and do that after this video. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe if you like the content. Pretty much do a, do a video every day during the market and sometimes or most of the time after the market. And uh, yeah, hopefully everyone made some money today. Pretty good day to trade. We finally get a trend day instead of all this chop. So I'll talk with you guys tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow and hopefully we get a bounce.